Okay, everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Uh, I'm doing uh, some of my uh, routine work as uh, usual. At the meantime, I'm like uh, everybody uh, hanging on our channels uh, about uh, uh, watching the, uh, the fledging hummingbird. So uh, I have to keep an eye on them, uh, on the uh, uh, second bird uh, in my background. Uh, I just uh, saw the first one doing fine in, on our lemon tree. I just published a new um, video, two minutes video, showing uh, the current status, uh, fine status of uh, kiwi and uh, while witness, uh, witnessing the second fledging of uh, uh, peanut according to the netizens uh, popular vote uh, we call this uh, baby behind me Hu Tou or the little tiger because uh, he was uh, born in the first uh, in, on the first day of uh, the tiger year on lunar, lunar calendar and the first baby was born two days ago before this one um, uh, in the New Year's Eve uh, in, in Asia it was uh, New Year's Eve it's our uh, January 30th to be precise and this one was born the uh, February 1st our time so it's about two days away so we expect him or her to fledge sooner or later but uh, later will be here my hope as uh, you guys so let's keep an eye on and uh, the project we're going to do today it will be two seals um, let me get my designs here while you're waiting To, if nothing happens, I'm going to uh, show my table, the, wor the work I'm doing. Uh, and the, if anything happens, I'll shift back to this uh, big view of uh, the uh, live cam. Okay, um, so here we have uh, two designs. One is uh, uh, mood seal. It says, uh, 救救地球, meaning uh, help the earth, save the earth, save the earth, earth. It's a mood seal for one of our uh, students in Victoria's uh, calligraphy class and my painting class. Uh, her name is Emily Witter. And uh, another seal uh, is uh, a uh, Buddhist Dharma name seal called uh, Meihua or Plum Blossom, uh, a uh, Buddhist Dharma name, Zen, Zen Dharma name. So uh, I'll do both of them today because uh, it's overdue because due to the event, um, the teaching and the other uh, interruptions. I'm sorry for, uh, for the delay for both of the, the clients. And thanks for your patience. Okay, uh, the the seal art is about the same size, so we're going to prepare. Uh, let me just to choose this one here for this. I think slightly different pattern. So this one is more earthy to me. Uh, I'm going to use this one for Emily uh, save the planet or save the Earth seal. The first thing I'm going to do is to remove the the um, wax that comes with the polish uh, with the stone, so I can transfer this uh, design. Okay. I use a fine sand paper. It has been used for many years, so it's getting very smooth. That's what I need. 
I'll just remove the wax without creating too much scratches and I put this it is okay to leave some powder like it won't affect this uh, transfer process I use a chemical called uh, Asotin nail polish remover it's also a paint remover you can get from uh, either cosmetics spy or paint, painting shop paint paints shop not uh, the, the fine art paints uh, actually they use this in, in the coffee stores to remove residuals on the Xerox machine so this has to do with uh, uh, the printer it type it has to be a laser jet printer to transfer the uh, the transfer the design there's some other things you can do with the uh, laser jet but not this one so I got a copy and I want to fix it on a clamp I can use a wheel 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 The design takes most of the time. The, the carving is fun to watch. I already did the carving on the computer, so to speak, so I can do it uh, without uh, too much uh, thinking. So the first color is the D, Earth, and the second is the globe. D Cho together is compound word for planet. And this verb to say it's doubled uh, to to make it a uh, strong strong um, stronger expression of uh, help or say to save so it's it's a kind of um, in our negative carving which is very artistic with a lot of lost and found edges to make it look earthy or broken, kind of uh, antiquarian feel. That's what uh, I like. <laughs> As if uh, Kiwi is, is listening to me, watching the camera, stare at me. I see a big eye blinking there. <laughs> Very interesting. There, you know, I'm so attached to these uh, chicks after, um, actually, my first uh, um, time spotting the nest is uh, uh, January 16th, and uh, this camera was set up uh, going live on the uh, 22nd, so now it's uh, more than one month. It's, they grow so fast, so every day is different. They look like my grandchildren. I mean, I feel they're, they're like a grand. I, actually, my, my old class, uh, high school classmates call me the sugar granddad. Grandpa, the sugar grandpa, the sugar grand, uh, sugar sugar mother for the uh, for Flora or Hua Hua, and uh, these are grandson granddaughters, uh, sugar grandson, sweet grandsons, you know, granddaughters. Okay, so D is uh, uh, interesting. Uh, uh, radical with the earth radical. And then we did, and then the pronunciation 
part, the, the phonetic part, is uh, kind of uh, uh, snake or lizard or something animal, the earth animal. It's a compound character. There's some shaking noise here, I need to fix. Emily uh, is uh, in uh, doing a project project to um, in memory of uh, her Zen teacher. He just passed Japanese Zen teacher. He just passed away at the age of uh, ninety five. So she's doing ninety five paintings with the same save save the the earth or save the planet. That's why she asked, she commissioned me to do this uh, theme, uh, mood seal for, for her. I think it's uh, quite suitable to to do it today, while we watch the wonder of uh, our uh, natural germ in the background, the hummingbird nest. That's really special. It was a magic moment yesterday, actually. There was a wind that blew off the branches that was or, uh, originally uh, brought onto the, the nest. And the, the birds uh, slept uh, the night with the, the those, uh, green shelter <laughs> kind of leaves. And then we had another windy day and a raining day. I was hoping that the branch would stay to secure the, the nest, but it didn't. So um, the first uh, flash happened uh, with the in the in the wind, and we tried to put uh, the new flash back, uh, but we won't. Uh, I was f afraid um, originally uh, the day before actually when they first asked me to do to remove the the branch uh, ten days ago they asked me to cut the the fruit um, to avoid uh, disasters according to the you know, to them uh, um, I insist that we should not really interfere the natural process and this is absolutely necessary like uh, yesterday when they, uh, there's a presumably um, early flash quote unquote uh, so I tried to prove that it's, I, I, I tried attempted to to put it back but uh, uh, it proved to be a full flash not an early flash because the bird is already 24 or at least 23 days ago, uh, 20, uh, old was a hatch 23 days. According to my three successful 
uh, fledging experience with hummingbird nest. Uh, all of them are flat, you know, got uh, successful fledge during uh, between 20 to 23 days, actually. Always a little earlier than we expect, but uh, it just happened. And usually the second fledge is uh, one or two days later, not the same time, because they are not uh, hatched the same same day. Okay, so that's why uh, I try not to interfere because I I told them if I touch that branch that that branch they they most likely will f will fly. And what what do we need to do after that? So. Uh, I invited them to send someone here to do it because uh, I don't want to do it myself uh, because against my principles of uh, natural following the natural law um, and they they, had, they they think it's a scientific issue ask something you know, someone who has a license to try to 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 talk to me. Um, into that, and uh, during this discussion, the wind came and the the first flash happened. So that's the uh, what happened. If you have missed anything, uh, it's not because uh, we cut it off. It's they did, they did it, and I hope the ending story will be a um, happy one, and that they will. They will do a complete story based on the facts, not the assumptions, not the uh, worries that never happened, like starving to death. You know, some, uh, the reason they gave me is like uh, the the leaves preventing the mother feeding the babies, and the baby is going to die of starvation or hunger. That's not, you know. Because I, 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 like in, in yesterday's class, we, we witnessed the numerous uh, successful feeding and uh, not failed feeding like uh, uh, the scientist, scientist, so called scientists, yeah, are seeing. So, just commonsensically, you know, we, we should not, we are just observant, we are not the, the god. And the, actually, those creatures are, are more um, adaptable to natural because they don't need uh, air conditioning. You know, they don't need a, a walled house to live. They can fly. Yeah, they have more freedom than we do in the natural environment. So. Even in our backyard, we consider it in the wild, not uh, our pet. Okay. I cannot see your your chat. Uh, let me see if I can do that in a different window. But otherwise, you will see that in my background. So I. I apologize if you have questions uh, like in live chat. I cannot do that with my background window occupied with the bird. Uh, if I shift it, uh, the bird will be invisible. So um, just to hold that, and I'll I'll answer it after this uh, this streaming is is finished. So bear with me. What if the bird's flying? <laughs> That's the question. I would keep an eye on every minute, maybe, to check. And we don't need to do anything, actually. If the bird fly, the next day we'll find uh, him or her in the woods, in the, on the trees. That's all we, we, we can do. I'm not going to chase after a fledged bird again. I never done that before. Okay, I actually, you know, first encounter of uh, a fledging birds, uh, 
when one of the fledged uh, hummingbird fall on the ground inside of our living room, uh, in just inside the glass door, and we try to to um, pick up, you know, to 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 help the little little fledge birds, and uh, then you know um, that bird took a big flight all the way to the top of a mango tree. So that's uh, the first one was uh, not successful. It fought, fell on the on the uh, in, inside of our, our home floor actually. But this one yesterday it was not on the ground. It's on uh, like a, a yard above the ground uh, on a pot on a rack of a uh, planting pot. Uh, flower pots, orchids pots. So that's where Victoria spotted him and took a video. We have the documentary of that uh, true story. Uh, so it's not an early fledge, it's just the wind, wind helped the fledge because the, the, the baby was uh, practicing uh, very uh, frequently flying and the baby, the mother was feeding him Constantly, not failed feeding, but uh, you know, on the fledging day, usually the mother is more is busier to try to charge the birds with more energy, encourage them to fly. This this little baby behind me is, uh, looks uh, little, uh, one day away to me because he was born. Pinas was born uh, two days, almost two days, yeah, later. Hatched two days later than the kiwi or anu, the little ox. They, they, they're born in different year of uh, uh, lunar year. That's why how we name them. I'm doing this this uh, word to help to save to. Jiu Jiu, Jiu Jiu to save, to Jiu Jiu, if you want to save the birds and save the panda or save elephant, you use this word. And just double the the words help, 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 like this, Jiu Jiu, help, help. Often appeared in the slogan, kind of. Uh, we just like the phrase to be its full purpose, so double this word, word is one way to make it full. To save. Actually, yesterday and today is very cold, like uh, 20 degrees lower than days before. I was uh, in summer quilt, and yesterday I'd have to change back to winter dawn. So it's, uh, it's a different uh, season, like the day before. Yesterday and the yesterday night, night and today is very good. I'm wearing, wearing down jacket again. It was uh, like a summer before. We got 90 degrees already in, in this mass. But now it's back to 50s and the 30s, mid 30s. Birds has a very warm coating, you know, so don't worry about the. You know, they're 
local, not the migrate kind of tropical ones. They they move to tropical places in the winter and come back in the spring. Those anas uh, are um, Alan's hummingbird are local in Southern California. Again, I apologize for not be able to chat with you during this uh, video. Then I concentrate on carving. To finish this uh, commission, that's how we make a living. To support our, our other hobbies, our um, lovely, you know, as artists and teacher. So, if you're interested in learning this kind of art or other uh, form of uh, art, painting, calligraphy, you're welcome to to contact us. We also sell all the tools and the materials for this special art. I used to work for a high-tech company to create uh, icons. Now they call the emojis, right? Emojis. Um, at that time, there was only 16 pixels to design uh, an arrow or a mailbox, that kind of thing. The company I worked with was uh, uh, USA.net. They supposed to be uh, a permanent email server. I'm sure, it was bought by the uh, American Express for, at the time. And then I, I was a webmaster doing the uh, uh, pod, a portal site, uh, Asian network. So, and later we get into uh, greeting cards e-greeting e card uh, concept and, and designed several websites that went uh, public in the early, actually the end of uh, last century, the internet, internet rush. So, uh, and then there was a bubble bursting, bursting uh, in 2000 and then we tried to uh, do various things and end up like what we really love, you know, the, the art and music. So, so we're not really try to, you know, to make more money than we, when we need uh, or create jobs for, for, for others. We're self-supporting family business. Um, so we have to do everything from uh, marketing to sales to accounting to everything, customer support. Yeah. So if you are calling me right now, I cannot answer the phone. So you have to leave a message or write email. If you have questions, we will get answered as soon as we can. The 
technology has really developed uh, every you know several years. We're upgrading our computers and the way of uh, viewing things or read things. Thank to the birds. Um, Life can you end? We have upgraded our network. Now you're watching 4K or 2K uh, resolution images, so you can see really sharp images right now. Thanks to the birds. So we invested uh, in computer in, in our internet service provider, upgraded from uh, cable to uh, fiber optic, just for this bird nesting. Day, I will uh, increase my my price, my commission rate for carving sales because uh, my 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 time and my physical condition is getting uh, less and less available. My you know my. I my sight is getting worse and my yeah so I raise a certain amount of a commission every year to celebrate my birthday. So if you want to commission me before May 10th, the Mother's Day, you'll get the old rate. After that, my birthday is May 11th. You'll get a, a small increase, maybe ten dollar or maybe five, depending on the inflation rate. <laughs> yeah, everything is going up, right? So you, you, I used to raise five dollar only, not a noticeable. This year maybe we'll go for ten to catch up the the price hike hike of everything. Uh, any yeah, so. I thank you in advance for your support. Okay, here we have a event feeding. The baby doesn't look like a hungry, huh? Flora tried to open. Yeah, maybe she tried to encourage the baby to fly. Try to coach him. Mm. I have seen this uh, several times today. Uh, in the past, the mother will stand behind the fledging bird baby. But this time, I think uh, she just tried to feed, not to, to uh, encourage the fledging. OK. Hello. Hello, hello. You're looking at the camera. I, I, yeah, she knows we're watching. Yeah, she knows everything. Hmm. A new little spirit. Yesterday I did a, a painting based on. Um, a, a, a image cut on the camera, and you can actually paint along with live cam. Try to capture a, a live image is very different than uh, the uh, a movie image, you know, than a still photograph. 
you can really and you really understand the perspective works. You see this front view, the eyes popping up from the the line of the the head and neck, the rounded eye. Wow. Look at this uh, gorget pattern. I try to recognize the individual mother because we have more than one mother around here. They ask me which one is uh, the mother for the previous one. I think time-wise, it's not possible. The, the, uh, she was the same mother who did the two successful fledging in our front yard, uh, in a nest facing the street. In, in a, another side of the, the house, so it, there's no competition with this one uh, in terms of feeders, because there's no feeder on the other side, actually. I'm still carving, because she looks like it will accompany this baby for a while. I'll keep this uh, view for you, so, and for myself, I guess. I just repeat the same character for for the uh, the detail in the, the verb to save the work I'm working on is to save the planet. Commissioned by Emily in Los. Okay, mother is gone. Not a success. The baby doesn't look hungry. So, just take time. Takes time to, to fish. Takes time to get ready. Some practice, more practice. And it will give him more confidence. Usually the second um, fledging is more hesitant and reluctant uh, and uh, kind of like a spoiled boy you know, or girl like the, the comfortness of the empty, uh, the uh, one bird nest instead of uh, the crowded you know, two because before the, uh, yesterday I I was uh, you know I, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, kiwi, the, the larger chick, standing on top of uh, uh, on the edge or on top of the, the uh, little 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 one, because it's, there's no place for for both, and that's very common, I think. So the practice on the edge or stay on the edge most of the time, and just kind of squeeze in the night, squeezing in the night. The mother would not accompany either one of them. Even you know, yesterday, I don't see the mother come back to accompany the, accompany the uh, uh, peanut for, for the night, because um, she considered they are in, in, more independent now. How to or just like uh, you know the child when they reach uh, 18 they're supposed to go out and they are actually happy okay I'm almost done I would uh, make some uh, some chipping edge, some worn edge. That's a very old tradition to make it look uh, old. In the past, because this uh, this name chalk is used as identity identity mark, so uh, to prevent. People from copying, uh, duplicating, you, you just do this, knocking randomly. So those marks are kind of 
not easy to duplicate without a copy machine or photograph, right? And there are many ways to duplicate the seal these days. They can even use a chemical way, uh, a 3D, maybe I'm uh, thinking of a 3D print in the future. See the baby, the mother come back. This time looks like an open. Okay, we have a successful feeding complete. The crow. Yeah. Sometimes we see a spider sticking on the beak of the mother, and the, the mother wait patiently for the baby chick to grab it. Very. <laughs> Adapt adaptive to watch. Yeah. Okay, addictive. Um. So, um, should I finish this one? Didn't do the second one, I think. So, so we will. Do a fine tuning first, I think. Just uh, try to make all the strokes more or less even in in the uh, thickness and uh, yeah, that's uh, usually double or ch multiple cut is needed to make it look look around it like a more uh, uh, assemble the the cast uh, bronze seal rubbing not a, a stone seal because that's the period uh, in the hand dynasty they use this material was used uh, is cast bronze for official and private seals as well. And later in the Ming and the Qin Dynasty, they used to start to use this kind of soapstone. It's called soapstone, uh, not made of soap. In English, that's what they call. We name it uh, after the name after the uh, the place where the stone is from. And this is Qingtian or green field. They are actually a little bit green. Maybe that's also the reason they are known, they are known as the green field. Okay, that's it, I think. So for Emily, let me make a print. See how close we get. Some corners I left uh, <coughs> not to finish because I I want I want to make sure it's not over uh, cut over you know cut through the corners. You want to be very careful to leave a little bit of space and do it very carefully. Okay. I'm going to dust with a, with a old toothbrush. Okay. Again, this seal is content. Uh, the text reads: "Jiu jiu di qiu," or "Save, save." The Earth or the planet. Save, save, to, you know, as a uh, expression of uh, uh, to save, to help. Save and help, same word, same word. Sometimes, if you put on Google, it will say um, 
help. If you put a one, it will say help. If you put a uh, two, double, it will say save, to save. So to help is to save, same word. Okay, I'm going to make an imprint first using this old paste because there are some residuals I don't want to get into the new one and also I don't need too much ink to see the strokes because this is a hard stone not a rubber you put a rubber underneath it This is the mirror image. I, I flipped it on the computer to, to look at it as a reference. Now it's the correct image. <clears throat> it's not very clear because the, the paint the ink is pretty dry. And you, you use a tissue to clean it after each use. If there's a residual you forgot, you know, it dried up, you can wash it with soap and a toothbrush or any soft brush. Okay. Um, I think we are pretty close. Just the, those corners are not rounded enough, I think. So I'm going to do a little more round up okay. left is right and in this case it's kind of hard to see figure round up the corner That looks uh, like an old TV monitor. Um, that's the shape of this. Okay, let me make a better copy on the, uh, this design to compare with the original. I mean, not the original, the designed, the completely designed. And this is the uh, fresher ink paste got some fiber in it, it's made of the reed, um, kind of a reed flag fiber. Reed, reed flags, it's kind of plant, dong. Look like cotton, but it's not cotton. Or silk, not silk. Because it goes partially onto the imprint, makes it uh, heavier, thicker than water-based, this is oil-based. They're not made of cinnabar as before, but um, it's more uh, like chemical pigments, more contemporary industrial products. I blow a little moisture from my mouth to, um, just to, reduce the grain. Reduce the, the coarse texture, if any. And then you, you kind of wave and the, or you press firmly. And then you lift with the paper um, fixed with the left hand fingers. And just lift carefully. Okay, this one is pretty thin. If I press less, it will be thicker. Uh, but I like the rhythm that it has both thin and the thickness. So it's, the, it's not mechanical, look uh, like a too even. So I can thicken some of the strokes here, but not all of them. And, and besides, you know, like if you like uh, the stroke to be more white, you just uh, load less and press lightly when you stand you'll get a lighter cut, a thinner cut. 
Okay, and uh, I do like the the kind of lost and found feel of it. I don't know if uh, Emily agreed the, the that's the kind of uh, rhythm we we tend to or write uh, with calligraphy or calligraphic painting, pressing, lifting. That it it has a more chi um, um, dynamics energy with uh, those then a, a mechanic design uh, you know like computer font they're definitely even and uh, e you know symmetrical everything is it's very scientific look yeah, this this is different uh, the organic feel of, of uh, the calligraphy and the carving especially and we do care a lot about the the continuity of of the uh, stroke with the absence of a knife or a brush so that has to to be uh, the chi has to continue even the broken stroke with a broken stroke Really fun to so the seal engraving art is considered as the uh, top level of uh, uh, art form in in the Eastern uh, art garden. <laughs> to make a metaphor, this is on the uh, a little you know pavilion on the on the peak of a uh, Chinese garden uh, very few people get there and you need, you need all the background knowledge about linguistic about uh, calligraphy and uh, fine art and archaeology and uh, so on so I, I was an archaeologist who studied the period of Han and later Han where when those uh, seals actually discovered in, in the tombs as, as to identify the the, the, uh, uh, the, to the host of the tombs usually the, the buried is a buried object yeah okay let's see this four dots not supposed to be the same. All this uh, actually there are lots of dots. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six of them. Yeah. So each of them should vary a little bit. That's hard to do. But uh, still um, have a uniform tail and uh, you know angle or size. So the rhythm rhythm is the same. I mean the pattern, yeah, unit a variety in unity, same as any other art form. We talk about uh, constant unity and variety. Okay. At this point, you should just look at the, the impression, uh, the imprint, not the design anymore. And maybe we'll look at different imprints. Sometimes it, you know, it, it, each one is different. So let me make a slightly lighter, press le less lesser. So, so it will be. The stroke may be a little wider. wider. Okay. I have to check the orientation at this time before signing it. The signature will be on the left. So you know your orientation. If there's no uh, signature or anything, you can you can do a little mark yourself. Okay, 
I, 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 uh, I let it absorb a little bit, especially if it's a rice paper, absorbent paper. You want to leave it there for like half a minute. Even. Now you can see a little bit, a little bit whiter. That's uh, what I was looking for. The, this one is a little bit heavy handed. Yeah. Okay. And I'm debating on uh, some connection or just leave it out. It's um, the design. This part is connected. Maybe I should con connect the shapes or the lines. Let's do that. It's. it's it's, a, it's all decision making, just like a painting to keep or to change. It, the best um, shape or form is between round and a square in art, or in sewing, wearing art, in any art. So when we talk about the rounded body of the birds yesterday, I talked about the square corners, you know, the, the inflection points. That's the same kind of idea. And when you talk, when you're carving uh, a square, see what you try to introduce some round elements to balance that, to, to harmonize. So the corners, the uh, joints are kind of rounded. Okay. In the end, I'm more timid to to you know with my hand. Someone says that my hand was so sturdy. This day, when I tried to capture the the bird, actually my hand uh, felt uh, no weight when I when I hold when I held the the little bird. I have to be very gentle because uh, they are so. You know, so tiny, so fragile, so um, weightless. You know, it weight only like two to three gram, I think. The grow up is three gram. So that's why they can fly. They just like weight like a butterfly, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, very, very light. I, be, I, I have to be very gentle. You can grab a frog or, or a fish uh, with a sturdy hand, but you cannot do that with a hummingbird. But they are so little, they, they're nothing, you know, they, the body just uh, um, this little. Because the, all the, all the uh, what makes it look large is the feather, the dawn. They're so. Remarkable. Okay, I will see some activities there. Practicing or uh, just call me. Yes. 
you see the little tongue that's the uh, the part they use to reach the nectar not the beak they use beak to capture insects uh, they have a long tube shaped uh, tongue very long to get in, into the, the heart of the flowers okay so save the earth is is finished uh, thanks for your patience and thanks for watching the live cast on, on our baby hummingbird <clears throat> let me uh, turn off the oops, turn off the uh, background so I can see some comments there maybe so here we go we got two, not many comments okay Kingsman yeah hello okay so I'm going to continue with my second second uh, seal now while we are watching little peanut to fledge maybe we, uh, not this afternoon we got uh, 3.40 already it's too late huh? but yesterday this is what happened this this uh, this in this hour the first fledge was okay so um I think yeah we will have to non-stop running just so this this is for two clients I understand maybe they have to share this documentary which they don't mind so this next one also has to do with uh, uh, Zen okay the first seal was to uh, owner a Zen master I forgot his uh, uh, Japanese name his last book is Zen as the art to save the planet that's why we carved uh, the seal save the planet uh, to honor his, his legacy uh, and uh, uh, so my student uh, Emily is going to paint 95 paintings in this uh, save planet to seem to honor her late Zen master now here now we have a, a commission from a, another uh, Japanese uh, Zen follower in the States um, I forgot her name, uh, Carol, Carol, yeah. Carol is uh, uh, granted uh, this uh, beautiful Dharma, 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 Dharma name, Buddhist Dharma name, uh, Mei Hua, or I don't know how to pronounce it in Japanese, sorry, but the same kanji or same uh, characters we use, which is uh, uh, plum blossom, plum blossom, and uh, she specifically wanted to, to do it with uh, uh, this uh, Yan style or um, pos positive carving style, which is the opposite of what we did earlier. That's in our negative negative carving style. Actually, uh, in the past, you know, this too is interchangeable. It depends on how you use it. If you put it on the clay to seal a bamboo book uh, of wax, this seal will become negative. And later, when we discover it, uh, with in a you know tomb and buried, uh, the books or uh, documents sealed uh, with uh, wax or a uh, clay, and we make a copy that become um, the uh, negative seal. So. Um, it could be the same thing actually so I just flip it you know I did this design as a uh, whoops I didn't send it I didn't send it that's what happened 
I have to redo this. That's why I have got multiple copies, uh, coupons of uh, this design here. And send it, send it first. Okay. So we need to remove the wax. I forgot that. Sorry. I have to redo this. Okay, this uh, this seal, yeah, it's a very fine line. Fine line, we call it Xi Yuan Zhu Wen. Means a thin lined Yuan Dynasty style. Yuan Dynasty. It's a relatively late uh, the Mongol, the Genghis Khan uh, Dynasty. Um, that's their favorite uh, style in, in the Yuan Dynasty. About uh, I think it's after Song. You know, it's about maybe 13th century, something like that. So it's relatively late development. Okay, here we go. Very elegant. Uh, Harris uh, uh, Dharma name. Usually I do Dharma name with uh, a Zen school here in LA. Uh, they, they're they used to this uh, wabi sabi style, very rough, very natural look. So in this case, it might be a little different. Uh, she has done research and she specifically requested. Uh, Curve in the in the uh, positive style, the yang style. So we we're going to <coughs> work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to the two approaches. One is safer and then better for beginners, which is you cut the the background between strokes. You know, leave leave quite a big gap between your cut and the the uh, stroke. So just cut the space in between strokes in the open area. You can do any any way you like. You just leave a little bit space, and then when you cut deeper and deeper, you will get closer and closer to to the stroke. This is a, a easier way to do this kind of style. This is how I would approach this. Okay, like that. And you can you can cut. It, it, now you have a support kind. Of, you, you have a ditch. You can put a rest your your knife in, and then just cut. Kind of widen that, widen that deeper, deeper. Later, I do that. Later. So I cut around this stroke first. Just so this is a safe zone. The, this I just cut in between the two, whatever, in the middle of any any, any shape. That's how I do it. And then I broaden that. Like that, and you can go pretty fast and uh, free. And uh, try to pay attention to where the square and where the round is. Yeah. Square and round. It's, it's constant. It's rounded. Rounded. Basically, it's rounded. More rounded, but even if it's rounded, then you have to keep it keep the square in mind to balance. Otherwise, there's no bone, no structure. I'm getting really warm. This is a hard, hard work. Is there some lighting here? You know? For the green screen, yes, I have to use a green screen. Green screen requires lighting. 
by one minor i ninety for for the effect. Okay. So let's see. So here's a gap and we maybe we we honor this accident. It's interesting to break that line. Let's see. Okay, but I think I like the effect that uh, some some at least some part is missing here, so we don't have to do a complete square. Let the chi, let the energy travel in and out somehow. I see we practicing behind me. Okay, I have to keep working while. Keep an eye on the one that happening behind and in the last. Okay. Oh, the, actually, yeah, you can cut. They're actually, um, when you're familiar with uh, this approach, your, your cut could go directly. Uh, your, your inside or outside, you may call this. Uh, so the outside would almost touch the stroke that's but still the principle is that how deep you cut is really not near the stroke the deepest part is away from the stroke and you should this is little little vertical bar i need to have a support i need to have a vertical cut there i think that's okay use the corner it's a kind of hard to get into this little space. So separate to the strokes with the envelope shape. Okay, you can do a T shape here, I think. To start with, and then it's not a square. I'm going curve on the corner. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do a lot of fine tuning, but at first I want to make sure it's going it's going to work. So no broken strokes. <laughs> if it's broken, just let it be because it's part of the antiquarianism, you know. That's why I try to make a video with every seal I make and. Uh, if anything different from the design, I could show them what happened. Sometimes it's due to the different uh, different uh, quality of the stone. Look at these two stones are the same, but uh, one is it has more uh, sand kind of uh, different uh, texture. This one is smoother. I I I think for the earth uh, safe earth one that's more suitable for this one. I like the smoothness of this stone. So um, that's why we don't let you pick up the specific stone. I will do that according to my artistry, my judgment, uh, which stone is suitable. I don't pick the outer look of the stone. I pick the you know the texture of the stone. The pat the pattern of the stone doesn't really matter. The look. I mean, the, the pattern of the the quality, you know, the not quality, the texture, the the material of this, the, what it, you know, how it was made up. It's even the same kind of stone. It, it may have slightly different. Somehow it's more glassy. That's um, yeah, some it's same. So that's why. Uh, in some case, we don't let you choose unless there's a design on the top or something uh, different. Top like uh, the decorative knob, we let you choose the stone if you want a zodiac animal, a lion, or something like that. A dragon, you can, you can have that. We don't do. I I don't do that. That's that comes with the stone. Okay, this seal is Mei Hua. 
they are blooming right now. It's very seasonal, beautiful. Spring, early uh, spring, winter kind of blossom. Signal of uh, spring. And I'm playing a music called Three Variations of Three Variations of uh, Plum Blossom. What I what uh, a uh, coincidence. Okay. Speaking of that, let me see if I can just bring, show you that I have a video that I can play in the background. Just have fun with this. I just uh, submitted this <coughs> for my class. I don't need to very loud, so uh, I just think it's enough.
Oh, there is a camera. I wish that's for me. <laughs> Okay, now let's continue this uh, plum blossom seal. I have been cutting the, this character plum. The other character is blossom. I did it. Did. So I just cut roughly the space between strokes, separated the strokes. And I call it the envelope. And then we'll do the inside of the trapped, the trapped shapes. This uh, this stone is uh, quite crispy, so it's uh, almost impossible to to uh, do it without chipping. Um, and the chipping is good as a friend of the seal engraving art. It will make the seal look more natural in the end, as you will see. So I I'm not afraid to to have a few you know broken strokes. Like, you, like here, in, you know, as long as this, the uh, qi, the idea, is not broken. Okay. Now I'm going to broaden all the gaps, the ditches. You know, try to to negatively shape, negatively shape the strokes. You know, when you paint, uh, you, and in many cases you, you do the same thing. You're looking at the, the shape of the sky instead of the bird, when you do the bird's back. Right? The other day I talked about that negative shape. So the shape of the sky is what you, the artists see. Normal people would look at the feather of the bird, how oh, beautiful. But the first thing we as artists to see is the shape of the sky. This, in this case, the shape of this, the white part. There's, there's no stroke. Some different uh, effects here. So I'm going to go with the flow of what happened here. Trying to make it work. Deeper between the strokes, you will squeeze out the stroke.
I forgot there's a mirror image that we can use as a, as a reference here. This is the mirror image. Alright. Oh, I realize you cannot really see my carving area. This uh, camera is not a very good position, and I have no no way to adjust that. It's hanging on the on the ceiling uh, above this in my in air conditioning window here. So. Let me just that. That forced me to look at the, the larger picture instead of still at a single area. So I can just looking at the whole picture. Has to be patient, patient, patient.
It's a little shaped like eyebrows, actually, that flower. But uh, something like that. Okay, so let's try and go to shape. But, you know, people will think they're eyebrows. Smiley. Let's, let's do it, make it happy. <clears throat> So I got the tip of the plant. So, okay. But uh, sprouts. Okay, no. Again, we're shaping the stone. Time to make it look like an old TV monitor. If you know what I'm talking about, the, the old tube, kind of vacuum tube monitor in the 50s, last century. Look like that. To the corners. This time I try maybe not to make it too broken, but it if it does, it's natural. You just you want some some soft edge. You don't want it to be hard edge. Look like it burn you. Okay, I think we are almost there. And the bird is going to stay uh, to go to the post office by five. My time. Okay, let me do the print. I think so. This one is maybe inside this tree, so they may overlap a little bit. Don't have to be separate. Some part is still too heavy. Need to fix that sooner or later. Before we do the print, maybe it's easier to see for me to without the reds on it, the reds in comment.
okay this one goes to the all the way to break the, the edge or the uh, connect to the edge actually that's good let it uh, create uh, some negative shape so separate to the large areas okay, this one also good and some combined shapes are fine it's really designed that way yep. that's perfect okay <clears throat> to make the eye a little bit smiley curvy Do something, you know. The time is fine. When you just, when you're just browsing purposelessly, purposelessly, time is. Actually, time is fast for any, any of us. For the birds, every day is, it's a new stage in their life. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick stand. Just the initial rock form. Actually, this old head just helped me to get the degrees off. Sign those seals. I will do that later. later. Okay. Um, I think we got a nice result so far. I'm going to make just a little bit adjustment. Maybe. make a few adjustment I like the these is uh, symmetric and uh, asymmetric uh, look of these eyes looks more expressive. I think uh, the flower, actually, the flower petals of branches, uh, buds. I think that's okay. It's going to be okay. Just want to even a little bit these strokes. That's all I need to for this thicker stroke I don't need and this one is basically done I like it okay <clears throat> I rounded uh, this shoulders already I think we can round it up a little bit more To make it round it. Look. Sometimes the outside is square or round, the, uh, the other the inside is round, or the opposite. No, they're not so round. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to do a good impression to see. Okay. 
second show with you on this uh, left side when you have it you know what uh, what uh, side is up <coughs> excuse me yeah I like the dynamic of uh, the carved version with this the uh, even just uh, even space uh, version here and I got some thickness and uh, uh, lightness in the stroke and some missing stroke uh, some absent stroke with the idea completes that's the um, the aesthetics of uh, the uh, antiquarianism I'm looking I'm going after so I'm pretty happy with that I hope uh, Carol will approve it uh, we get it that's the result and that's, uh, by the way we got the plum blossom uh, ink uh, box here Everything's plump or something. <laughs> okay. Until um, next time, um, I wish you to continue to follow us on the YouTube uh, with the fledging birds. And good night, everybody. I'll see you later.